Hello guys, today I'm going to show all of you how to remove um, this, um, the covers for this Sweet Cherry uh, brand stroller uh, of the model called Akira. Akira. Okay, um, I've had this stroller for about three years now and um, there are a few things that I don't really like about the stroller but overall um, uh, it has served me and my kid quite good so I'm I'm happy to review plus to show all of you how to remove the the cover okay there basically there is nothing much to remove um, here but um, let me uh, let me just show you what I can um, I can do yeah Okay, I, I will begin with the, the lower compartment here that holds, um, you know, your water bottle or extra shopping stuff. Um, Sweet Cherry is a Malaysian brand uh, stroller. And um, the time when we bought the stroller, it was quite affordable. So we thought, why not just um, try this out? And... Um, after that when we decided that our baby was um, you know getting bigger and we wanted to switch um, a stroller we got a uh, another brand of stroller which is called uh, silver cross zest uh, with the uh, by the model zest so all of you can um, go and check out uh, i also made a video on how to remove the cover on the silver uh, silver cross zest as usual, I am using one hand to do this, so I hope all of you can uh, can see. I just um, just put my stroller down, and what you what you see here is there are like four buttons: one, two, three, and four. So first, I'm going to remove these buttons first. Okay, I already done for other. The, the other button so this is what you get okay this is the lower part of the stroller and then what I'll do is I'll just bring it back to up and I'll remove the red cushion okay so I'll um, what you have to do is you just put your hand under here and just remove let me try to focus okay i just remove just like that okay and there you have it okay you remove also from here just pull up like this and remove this part here okay look you can already see crumbs from from the biscuits and all the baby food all right and also for this part over here to make sure that you remove with unattach this otherwise it's going to be difficult for you Okay, we are done and remove this uh, cushion that uh, shoulder pads I think this is what you call shoulder pads and please and also repeat the same thing you have to un um, unattach this okay and remove the cushion shoulder pads maybe which is what it's called Sorry if I don't get the term correctly. And um, now, before you remove this entire C pad uh, or cushion, you have to un unbuckle this or unbutton this. See, there is button here and also this side. Okay. 
It wants to unbutton it and just remove. the next one all right so now you just have to gently remove it oh wow so much mess <laughs> these are all the crumbs from the biscuits and all the baby food so under here you'll find treasure <laughs> this is all the yucky stuff the leftover of mm, baby's food so yes uh, as a parent you, you you spend money on stroller and you use them a lot uh, do also invest your time on cleaning your stroller yeah which I do a lot um, I went out with my family yesterday to the shopping mall and and my baby was having some muffin and biscuits and this is the leftover of it okay what you do is just basically just take wet wipes or at, at the moment I'm just using my hand to remove the crumbs just remove or brush it off alright and now moving on to the next part I've taken a cloth and um, I, I put, with, with, I let it wet and uh, added some uh, soap. So I'll just wipe it off this area here. Because um, one thing about sweet cherry is it's quite complicated for you to remove this this part of the the, the seat. So I don't think there is even a way to do that because it's all attached so the only thing that you get to do is clean up this part of your uh, stroller seat this way as for me I use a wet cloth and um, and soap all right you can even um, sanitize this seat if you have the sanitizing spray with the viral um, fever that's been going on in Malaysia we have the influenza problem so it, it's best to keep your stroller or your baby's car seat sanitized you can get those um, uh, products from any baby shop or even can get a Dettol spray or Dettol uh, sanitizer apply some on the cloth and um, just wipe it off like this well, I have turned this stroller uh, upside down and just want to show you that there, there, is, there are no way that you can uh, remove the seat of uh, the stroller. You see how they screwed in the seat. So this is one disadvantage uh, point about this stroller, this Sweet Cherry brand uh, stroller for the model uh, called Akira. Uh, I... I prefer having a stroller where you can remove the entire entire cover or entire uh, seat so I can get it washed and put it back and so I feel it's clean for the baby and uh, look so basically it's all sc screwed in yeah there's another one so you cannot remove you, it's, you, it's impossible to remove the, the seat the base of the seat here all right so and um since i've been using this stroller for the past three years um there is something i would like um anybody who's planning to buy sweet cherry um stroller 
Yes, they are very affordable but they are very fragile. So, you see here, um, I think you we can uh, you can remove this um, the hood part of the stroller. We just remove the velcro. I added some pins here because you know sometimes I add some um, some things behind here. Like you know my baby soft toys. So somehow you know you get a little storage. Okay, this I use it as storage. However, what I wanted to let all of you know is the this stroller is quite fragile. Look, this part here is made of just um, plain plastic. It's not a very good quality plastic, so it's broken, and I'm not very happy about it. So, so it's been just hanging here. I have contacted Sweet Cherry um, Company to get it replaced. They said okay, they can replace the roof, the entire roof here, the hood, but that will cost me over. 100 ringgit Malaysia so we decided not to proceed if we add on more cash you can get yourself a new stroller so I did not bother getting it fixed so this is the velcro now you can remove the the hood part of the stroller and you can detach like this all you have to do is pretty much Press and pull. There you go. So this is how it looks like. This is how you have it. Okay. You can do it also here. Just push this little button here. While you do that, you also pull the foot out. And here you pretty much have it. This is the, I call it the skeleton of the stroller. Alright. Basically, you can only remove the seat pad here, the shoulder pads over here, the hood or the umbrella part, whatever you call it, and also the compartment, uh, the below compartment. Yeah. So this is all. Uh, what I'll usually do is just throw all of them here in my washing machine. I have quite a large uh, washing machine, so I'll just put it on a very um, uh, light cycle, a mild cycle, a slow cycle, or soft wash, whatever your machine uh, washing machine calls it. And then um, I usually uh, use this special soap. I'll show all of you right now. Alright, so this is the um, detergent that I usually use uh, for my baby's clothes as well as uh, to wash the stroller because um, uh, it has uh, a lot of good benefits of function. It kills germs and removes stain and odor. It whitens and it's, it's, uh, it freshens and brightens. You can read here. Uh, this is by the brand called Purin and it's antibacterial. And when I look for uh, detergent or baby wash or anything to do with, um, uh, uh, you know, washing my baby stuff, I usually look for antibacterial detergent. Alright, so this is what I'll be doing. I'll be using to wash all of this seat. Alright, guys. Uh, thank you very much for, for, for watching. And... Um, Stay tuned for another video. I'll um, I'll show you guys if you guys want to watch how to install back all of this um, seat and the the hood and whatever that I just removed earlier. Thank you. Bye bye.